Hello there. Welcome or welcome back to Yoga with Anya and Yoga During Pregnancy here on YouTube. I really, really love this series and the trust that you're giving me as you're moving through this very special time in your life. However, I always want to mention up front that really just do what feels right for your body and only follow the postures and the movements that I do that feel right for you as well. It's my 25th week of pregnancy and I'm mentioning this so you have a little bit of an idea how far, of how far along I am and how far along you are. So far, I can really recommend these classes for all trimesters. It has felt safe for me. But again, every pregnancy is different. Every body is different. So make sure it feels right for you. I look very forward to step onto the mat with you in just a moment. Welcome to your practice. If you do have any bolsters or blocks at home, I can really recommend you sitting on one of them. Or, I mean, feel free to do cross-legged without any prop. But if it feels nice, then just sit at the edge of a cushion or your bolster so you can allow your hips to slightly tilt forward and just make sure that wherever you're sitting, you have enough space for your bump, depending on how big you are already. So allowing the palms to settle down onto the knees. And then just gently roll your shoulders up and all the way down your back. And do that a couple more times to settle into your practice today. A moment to let go of anything else happening around you that you don't have to be aware of or in charge of right now. So once more, shoulders squeeze all the way forward up and then down your back. And then allow them to settle down with your palms on the knees, just very gently start to close your eyes to draw your awareness inward. Imagine as you're stepping onto your mat today, that you're stepping away from your day-to-day -day life. You're letting go of anything currently on your to-do list or work-related. Maybe baby related, you're planning, you're thinking ahead. And just really allow yourself to drop into this very moment. And I think the more we do that now, the more we can do that once baby or babies are here to really allow yourself to enjoy every moment of your journey rather than being ahead of it or thinking back. There is such a beauty in presence. Notice your posture. And try to find a bit more length through the spine. So actively start to realign one vertebra on top of the other. Lift the crown of your head towards the ceiling. Keep your shoulders away from the ears, elbows and palms soft. And notice how you're sitting here. And alignment is always important, but especially in pregnancy. Try to notice that you want to have your head over your heart and your heart over your bump over your hips. So you might want to rock slightly more forward if you're slouching or a little bit further back. And then just very gently allow your teeth to move apart, unclenching your jaw. And with your eyes soft, your body relaxed. Just imagine this is like a wave washing across your entire body, allowing all your muscles to just relax and to soften for a few moments to begin. And then from here, I would like you to bring your right palm or the back of your hand on top of your left so you're forming like a cup in your laps 
and then connect your thumbs together. And then with your thumbs connected, your palms resting down. This is a meditation mudra used in yoga. Just notice a gentle sensation, the pressure of your fingers in towards one another, the thumbs. And imagine drawing, drawing your awareness towards your hands, the cup. So from maybe having thoughts up in your head, you're dropping your awareness into your body now. And notice if there is something currently, maybe for you or for baby, your partner, something that is missing in that cup right now. Something you want to add. That could be a positive feeling or that could be something that you're wishing for, asking for. Maybe you're feeling quite nauseous, you would like to be a little bit more stable with eating, anything. Imagine now drawing that into your body through the palms all the way into your entire being. And feeling content, appreciating what is currently happening. You're growing a baby or multiples. And really take a moment to honor that. By now releasing that cup and cuddling, holding your baby, both palms on your bump. And if your bump is not there to see it for others, know that you know it's there. And really feel your palms softening towards the skin and towards baby beneath the skin. Imagine your warmth shining right through as you're connecting to your baby. And we just start with a simple 10 rounds of breaths together. So inhale deeply through the nose, breathe down into your bump. Gently open your mouth and exhale. Inhale, deep breath through the nostrils. Exhale, letting go. Once more, inhale. And exhale. And this was three. So we're inhaling now through the nose. Exhaling through the nose for four. Inhaling for five. Exhaling for five. And just take five more of these nourishing breaths now in your own count. Really feel the breath. You bump gently pressing up into your hands on the inhale. And that softening, that calming effect that the out breath has on you and baby. A couple more breaths. And last one, really enjoy inhaling and exhaling. Maybe notice how your body has found into a more calm and present moment now. Beautiful work. And then very slowly release your hands down and then gently open your eyes. And let's start with a bit of connection to the movement. So connecting breath to movement. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up and overhead. Connect your palms in prayer and exhale softly. Draw your hands to the heart center. Two more rounds, inhaling to stretch and lengthen. Exhaling, hands release down. Last round, inhale, really feel that length in your arms all the way into your fingertips. 
and exhale 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 release your hands all the way down and now you could just stay seated as you are or if you want to join me in cross-legged slowly move any bolsters or props away and come into a cross-legged seat just really making sure that you are sitting nice and upright and then release your left hand down onto the mat inhale stretch your right arm up and allow your palm for today to flip up towards the ceiling as if you're pushing the ceiling away then inhale to stretch through the right hand and exhale start to bend your body to the side to the left side into a side body stretch and really think of again pressing the palm up you can send your head into any direction that feels nice and just feel your right side body broadening and opening here Take another in-breath, find length, very nice, and then slowly come back to center, right hand down, left arm up, again for today flip the palm up, start to press the heel of your hand towards the ceiling, keep the shoulders relaxed, and then really think of breathing into your left side body as you inhale and exhale. Take another breath here, another moment to stretch and lengthen beautiful work and then with the breath as you inhale come back to center and now with a more neutral palm reach up and overhead so hand facing the floor inhale and exhale once more breathing back to center exhale nice open stretch inhale and exhale to release beautiful work and then slowly bring your hands down onto the knees and take a few shoulder circles and I think this can always go into a yoga practice so you're really trying to release tension or anything else you're carrying from that area neck tops of your shoulders and then change the way you're circling so squeeze your shoulder blades in first lift them up and then drop them forward and down very very nice beautiful work and then once as you inhale squeeze your shoulders all the way up to your ears really inhale 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 and then exhale allow them to drop beautiful work now extend your left leg to the side bring the sole of your right foot towards your other thigh and then reach towards that left leg you can either hold onto the foot to the leg anywhere you can comfortably reach and then gently start to turn your body as if you're moving into a very gentle twist and think of having your side body parallel to that leg and now wherever you are inhale reach your arm up and overhead and then start to hold onto the head so cradle your head with your palm your thumb is pointing down so it feels a bit like a like a nice massage for your neck and then as you inhale stay upright and reach through the elbow and as you exhale if you can just gently bend a little bit further into a side body stretch remember to listen to your body your bump only going as far as feels good and use your palm to hold onto the head once more inhale reach the right elbow up exhale very very nice beautiful work and then slowly bring your right hand down behind you and then start to lift up for gate pose so you're coming onto the knee and the foot and you could stay like this so more neutral or you start to lift 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 through the hips and come more into a back bend and just allow your bump to proudly rise up towards the skies above you your feet to ground your glutes to gently squeeze inhale to stretch and lengthen very very nice and exhale slowly release and then we we're going to move over to the other side this time it's the right leg that is long flex the toes and take your other foot towards the inner thigh and then again as you start to reach it really is about keeping the body open so rather than having the hand too low down you might stay a little bit more lifted then turn your torso side body parallel reach your arm up and then start to hold onto the head cradling the head with your hands and then really allow the weight of your head to drop into the palms 
Imagine inhale to lift the entire body, sits bones stay grounded. And exhale to lift that left elbow, and maybe slightly tilting to the right side into a side body stretch. Enjoy that opening across the side body. Take one more in breath. And then exhale, release. Come all the way back, left hand behind you. Really take your time here to lift up onto the knee, to ground your front foot down, and then extend the right arm forward, maybe slightly up. Imagine opening the chest up, allowing the bump to shine open. Glutes are squeezing and your feet are really pressing down. Once more, inhale. And then exhale for tabletop, slowly release. And then find your way onto hands and knees for tabletop. Your palms are underneath your shoulders. Traditionally, knees underneath your hips. Spread your fingers nice and wide. And to make sure that you don't get any pressure into your wrists, try to claw the mat with your fingertips. And then start to rock your hips around in a circle and as you do that really imagine that you are doing that for a baby so it's a nice gentle rocking maybe your eyes are closed and your hands and your feet are connecting whilst the middle part of your body your bump and your hips stay super soft And now this movement can turn into a very, very individual flow. So you can carry on with the hips, maybe do a bit more movement through the shoulders, the neck. Really start to tune into what feels good. And remember, sometimes slower and more subtle movements are as beneficial, because maybe baby feels a bit more calm and more looked after. So take a couple of moments here to do that. Keep your elbows a little bit bent, especially if you're a bit hypermobile. Visualizing your baby gently being rocked. And then change the direction of your hip circle. So first of all, just starting with the hips. A gentle movement. Your big toes are pressing down, fingertips. And again, your hips and your bump are nice and soft. And then turn that into your flow. Maybe closing the eyes, you're really letting go of the outer world. You're connecting inward, see what feels nice, in which directions you wanna flow. You can always pause somewhere and just feel through it. Very, very nice, beautiful work. And then slowly come to pause back at the center. For cat and cow, curl your toes under, pressing the toes and fingers down. Inhale, bump, softening heart is opening. And then exhale, round, round, round. Really lift the shoulder blades up towards the ceiling. Four more counts. Inhale to arch your back, cow pose. Exhale, round. Slightly press the hips forward, look towards your baby. And three more rounds with your own breath. Take one more round, do it a little bit slower, but stay in both shapes for a little while longer, really feeling the spine. Very, very nice. And then as you come back to your neutral spine, bring your knees mat width or even further apart, big toes together. And then for Balasana Child's Pose, sink your hips back. You can always use a cushion, your fists, or maybe just the earth underneath your forehead. Try to gently bend your elbows. And for me at this stage, I feel it's quite nice to have um, the palms underneath the head. So I really feel bump has enough space. And wherever you are, close down your eyes. And find your breath again. And 
then after a while you might notice you can wiggle your arms or your elbows a bit further forward feeling length in the lower back length all the way into the crown of your head notice your hips opening and a calm soft energy that you're breathing in and towards the baby beautiful work very very nice wherever you are now connect your palms towards the mat and slowly walk your hands towards the left side don't go too far just a little bit more to the left straighten your right arm more and then bow your body back towards the earth keep your hips towards the right heel but stretch those right fingertips forward chin tucks towards the chest and then inhale back through center and for the other side, just a little bit more to the right side with the left arm long. Forehead softens down. Breathe into the left side body. Especially this side that gets compressed quite a bit at the moment. Feel long, feel the hip shifting towards the left heel. We're going to take an extra breath for this side. So enjoy. Beautiful work. And then sl slowly <laughs> and start to walk your hands back in towards the center. And then if you're happy with down dog, then take your hands one hand with further foot, really widen your feet and then lift your hips back and up. So in down dog, during pregnancy, you want to make sure that you do have way more space than in a normal down dog for, for the bump. So feet are hip width or further apart and then start to bend one knee after the other. And if your heels are lifted, it's completely fine, but try to focus on drawing the heels towards the earth. And then shifting the upper body side to side a little bit, a bit of side body movement. Very, very nice. And then from here, bring your knees back down towards the earth. And now we're going to start with our warrior sequence. So step the left foot towards the left hand. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't look that elegant for me anymore. I don't know if you feel the same. But left foot comes forward, left knee over the heel. And again, you might have a bit of wider stance currently. Untuck your back toes and then take your hands onto the hips. And just gently start to shift the weight forwards and back a few times. Keep pressing your feet down towards the earth, especially when you come forward. You want to really ground your right shin down. And then come forward, inhale, reach your arms up and overhead for low lunge, Anjani Asana. Open the heart, breathe. Now take your left hand, grab your right wrist and start to extend the body to the left side for a side body stretch. And then as you come back to center, inhale, hands open again, and then exhale, bring both palms to the inside of your left foot for a lizard lunge. And now if you wanna lift the earth a bit further up towards you, you can use bolsters, blocks underneath your hands, or stay on your fingertips. And just try to really soften into your hips now. Make sure your knee, front knee stays over the ankle. Breathing here. I'm not going too far because you might be a bit more flexible at the moment. Very, very nice. And then start to lift out. Now this one is a bit of a tricky one to get in initially, but you'll find your way, I'm sure. Lift your right foot off the mat and then turn the right toes towards the left side of your mat. So as you're lifting, your shin is parallel to the short edge of your mat. Then walk your left foot into a position where you notice that your knee is still over the ankle. So you might need to adjust slightly. Think of warrior two, because this is a lower or half warrior version. And then from here, hips are opening. Take your hands back onto the hips and start to gently transfer the weight forwards and back. And try to keep this knee in one line. Sometimes it happens that it kind of starts to wiggle around a little bit, but knee in line. 
you're tucking the tailbone under at the same time here and then as you come forward next time so you're really sinking forward as much as feels good open your arms into warrior two arms and constantly keep opening that left knee to the left side of your mat chin back so the head is over your heart inhale here exhale to soften and then start to reach your left arm forward bring the left forearm onto the leg and right arm up and overhead for a version of extended side angle look up or down follow what is good for the neck very very nice and then we're gonna go into a version of side plank right hand comes down extend through the left toes and then lift your left arm all the way up and overhead take a moment to gently push the hips forward relax your bump your belly very very nice and then slowly carefully lift all the way back and we're simply going to move to the other side so in any way you can gracefully step your legs back and then let's take the right foot forward right foot over right foot underneath the right knee really creating space bump and hips are facing forward and then start to shift forwards and back a few times try to work with your breath so exhale to come forward inhale back up and noticing again that crown lifting up and then staying in your lunge ground both feet down so by grounding i really mean pushing towards the mat and the earth and then take your arms up and overhead right hand this time grabs the left wrist for a gentle side body stretch and then for our lizard lunge dive forward come onto your hands or fingertips and then just allow yourself to soften here for a moment maybe closing down the eyes so you can spot any areas where you might tense up the jaw cheeks or forehead beautiful work and then slightly lift out of your hips again for it is half warrior lift the left foot turn it towards the right side of your mat so your shin comes parallel and actually I should have started that way so hopefully you can see better now your hips are opening into opposite directions like in a warrior two adjust your front foot so the knee is right above it and then again hands onto the hips and gently start to shift forwards and back and you might notice that especially if the hips feel a bit tight it does need quite a bit of encouragement to stay open here so really draw that right knee out so you can see your front toes as you're bending and then sink into your half warrior to take your arms parallel to the floor look over your front hand and again keep opening 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 through the hip you're also creating strength in the outer thigh you might notice glutes firing up as well keep your jaw soft head back and then inhale reach the right arm forward place the forearm on the leg extended side angle here left arm is reaching up you could always look past that armpit and then for a version of side plank release your left hand to the side of you extend your right foot down and then lift 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 squeeze your glutes lengthen into those right fingertips inhale very very nice and then for downward facing dog slowly start to turn Turn yourself around on the mat again stay in tabletop or once more take downward facing dog and then start to walk your hands towards your feet and already bring your feet mat with apart heels in toes out and then for our squat malasana start to lower the hips down you can sit on a bolster pillow or like me you can straight away soften down connect your palms into prayer and just find that nice opening through the hearts 
as you're extending the spine. And obviously here, main focus is the hips. And if it feels comfortable, especially for your knees, have a look, gently rock side to side. It's a bit of soothing energy for the baby again. Then come to pause and just close your eyes down. Take three more breath cycles. Very nice, beautiful work. And then use your hands, take them forward and slowly make your way back into a tabletop. Palms under the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. And then just gently bounce the hips side to side. Like of any movement you've just done. Very, very nice, beautiful work. And then for deer pose, Start to lower your hips back down onto the mat. And then for deer pose, you bring your left shin parallel to the mat. And you're also bringing the other leg into like a 90 degree angle. And now from here, start to bring your hands behind you. So again, you have two rough 90 degree angles, feet are flexed, and then bringing the hands behind you. And then visualize that both knees are grounding down towards the earth, even if they might not touch. And hopefully you feel a stretch across, especially that right thigh. You can go as far back as you like, maybe bending the elbows a little bit more. Very nice, and then lift back up to center. Bring your right hand towards the right knee and lift the left arm up and overhead. Once more, stretch and lengthen your side body here. And then slowly release and then swing your legs over. So you're changing it. So the pose is where you have both sit bones roughly connected to the mat. My hip is actually lifting because they're a bit tight. So legs in a 90 degree angle, feet flexed. And then again, as you walk your hands behind you, you might then notice your hips completely grounding. So think of lowering both knees to the mat, heart is lifted. And this time hopefully feel a stretch in your left outer thigh. Whenever it feels nice, close your eyes. Again, you can sink down a little bit further maybe with the elbows, lift the heart still. And then come all the way back and up. Bring your left hand towards the left knee and stretch the right arm up and overhead. Inhale. And then exhale back to center. Carefully release. Then we're gonna come into a wide-legged seat. You can have your knees bent or you can have your legs straight and just widen them as far apart as it feels good. Place your hands onto your legs and then find a gentle rocking side to side and you can really allow your body to flop or to release in any form or shape that feels good here. Just being aware again that you're not compressing your bump. And then keep both hands on your legs. You can also hold your big toes. And then inhale to lengthen. And as you exhale, start your forward bend. You go as much as feels good. And then try to bring your awareness towards your lower back. Imagine with every breath you're taking in that you send energy and that stretching sensation that appears when you breathe into those cells, those tissues, into your lower back. Keep 
keep your toes just a bit engaged, not too much. And then take your hands towards the center of your legs and just for a moment really bow your chin down towards the chest. Notice how it feels for your inner thighs if you want to fold more or maybe lift a little bit higher. If it feels good, start to rock again. I think with this rocking, it always depends if we do it for to distract, to not be as present, or if it actually feels good. So notice what you need for yourself. And then slowly, slowly walk your hands all the way back in and take your legs back together. And we're gonna finish in a nice Shavasana in a resting pose. So if you do have a bolster or a sofa pillow, you could have that between your knees. Otherwise, maybe a block is there in grabbing distance as well. Try to lower onto your left hand side so your head is supported and you really feel that your hips are in line with your knees and also that your back is not arching or rounding too much. And I'm going to stay seated to talk you through the relaxation but you get yourself comfortable. And then as you soften and close down your eyes again, imagine you're letting fully go of this practice now. Take a moment to feel your whole left side body connecting to your mat, the earth underneath you. And visualize relaxing every muscle of your body now. You can rest your hand anywhere, maybe on your baby. Your palm is slightly towards your chest. You can give yourself a nice hug here in this sideline Shavasana. And just notice yourself lying here now after your practice. Notice if there is anywhere in the body again where you can let go that extra bit more. Notice how your breath, your heart rate feels maybe slightly increased or a bit more energetic. And after you've done all that movement for yourself and bump you deserve that rest. You deserve to let go. So for these next few moments in your Shavasana, just allow yourself to simply be, to be present with all those changes currently happening, maybe changes weekly or every day, Honoring the change that your body is going through, the expansion of your skin, your bump growing. And maybe allowing the corners of your mouth to slightly lift up towards the eyes in a nice inner smile. The corners of your eyes lifting up as well. You're smiling for you and for a baby. In those next few moments, enjoy to simply be, to be in stillness and safe in your Shavasana.
and then ever so slowly from here start to gently wiggle your hands again wiggle your toes maybe have a good yawn If you can with your eyes closed safely start to make your way back up into a seated posture allow your palms to now face up towards the ceiling the skies above you allowing yourself to receive any benefits anything for you for your practice and from your practice that you need currently in your life Thank you so much for your wonderful practice from my heart and my bump to yours. Namaste. Mm -hmm.